Welcome, my name is Harry Tim and welcome to WWE 2K19 Numerous Mode and Monday Night Raw. The week after. The, the two weeks after Hell in a Cell and on from Charlotte, North Carolina on. Um, so it's Kalisto, but not Conquin. Uh, Grammar Kalisto Gramma so they can lynch the Dorado. So we have Brock Lesnar versus Luke Gallows, Scott Dawson versus Uni Lorcan emerging in a rivalry, a 30 man Royal Rumble match, Pete Dunn versus the Lucha House Party in a handicap 3 on 1 handicap match, Seth Rollins versus Aiden English, Liam, the Universal Champion versus Randy Orton, Braun Strowman versus Finn Balor, uh, and Braun Strowman versus Finn Balor. If you like what you see, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit the notification button to stay notified if I upload in more content. With that being said, get let's get on with the show from Charlotte, North Carolina, Monday Night Raw. Welcome everybody to the history making, to the groundbreaking, to the earth shaking Monday Night Raw. All no right, one likes a rhymer, Michael. You, so sit down, buckle up. No one likes and a rhymer. On the gas, we're getting there as fast as we can. We got one-on-one -on -one action. So it's Brock Lesnar versus the Let's Good Brothers. It. Well, it's not a handicap to him one tag team match, is it? The Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. The longest reigning Universal Champion in history. Yes, but that was an awful reign because he didn't show up half the time. Or to be more accurate, 75 to 80 to 90% of the time. He only defended the title about six. Oh, it's a two on two. And also hit Paul Hyman. That didn't take long. He's got him here. He's got him Back. Cyborg. Almost drove him through the ring. Nail. Oh, he's got me in a rest hold. Oh, man, what a blow. 
feet. Shoulder tackle. I tackled Paul Heyman again. This is going oh, to be big. he's going up top. Brock used to be the IWGP heavyweight champion, but was stripped of the belt for not respecting it. That's actually what happened. Brock's going up suplex. Alt. Off the top rope. Stomped to the face by Brock Lesnar. And set up oh, and oh knee to the face. Oh, he tries to go for the for the leverage pinfall. German. German suplex spike. Oh, Ooh, mess. there's oh. a pin now. One. Oh, he gets he the reverses cover. it into a pinfall of his own. Oh, Luke Gallo oh, Luke Gallows picks Luke up Gallows win. wins with a shock victory over Brock Lesnar. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Here is your winner, Luke Gallows. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Scott Dawson versus Omni Lockon. Here we go. Matchup's going to be a good one. Superstar ready for action. Here comes his opponent, wasting the oh. time to start things off. Double leg takedown take down of the big right hand from Omni Scott Dawson. Oh, I think that's Omni Lockon. Who did that even pick? Incredible. I think. It There's a lot of pride on the line between these two athletes tonight. Two of the proudest athletes we have ever seen in WWE. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an oh, epic man. match. Scott Dawson oh. says he is an innovator in the ring. Double on top power bomb one, two. Oh, oh, he, 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 he sunset an easy kick out from Scott Dawson. No, throwback like Dawson's way too tough not to kick out. Oh, shoulder carry thing. Oh, Luthes press from Scott Dawson. A high risk maneuver oh, works Scott for Dawson's top going up bucket. top. Will Lorcan reverse? Bad move there. Or oh, I, I could just not hit it. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, what impact! We got a cover. One, I'll oh, kick out at one from early. only Lorcan. Scott Dawson wants to take a chance. Scott Dawson's going up top again. That oh, but only Lorcan rolls out of the pinfall or the dive executed. or whatever. Oh, knife edge chop, but he reverses into a knife edge chop of the tone. He whips him over the top Talks rope. To the outside. With a power move. Whips him into the ring row. Drop oh, down. drops under. Oh. You 
looks a bit off his game here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry oh. about. Oh, slice. Oh. Oh, he's only Lockins going for the bend. Dawson pops the shoulder up. Just needs to do more damage. He's got Dawson on the defensive here. He's really going to need to create some space for himself. Not today. <laughs> here we go. Back inside the ring. Oh, leverage pin. You gotta believe this one's got one. Dawson covered. <laughs> A kick out before three. Not yet. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, be careful not to get disqualified. Oh, great. In half. Oh, rope break. How did that rope break? Jesus Christ. Oh, he reverses it. Oh. A quick reversal by Scott Dawson. Going around some of that southern beat. I think we know what this is. Oh, half Boston crab, but bounce. the rope breaks. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. He's taking on some damage, but so is his opponent. Yeah. This match can go either way at this point. Arm wrench. Oh, oh the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. It's not a car. Oh I've said goodness. this every single time. Oh. It's not a goddamn car. I gotta say, when I saw this oh. week's power rankings, I thought there was a misprint. There's no way this superstar deserves such a favorable ranking. Good wrench power bomb. Oh, Lawhan's going up top. Looking for the finish. Don't you dare get up, man. Oni Lorkin is in position. Oh my god! What the? Middle rope wow. blockbuster. Talk about taking care of business. Things do not look good for Scott Dawson. He might have it. Half and half suplex. suplex. Nice. Oh, he's he going for the pinfall. Cover, cover. Two, three, oh, Odie Lorcan wins. Unreal performance. Let's take another look at these guys in action. These superstars didn't exactly set the world on fire, but this match had its moments, here as we see winner, here. Odie Lorcan. Big win here. Oh, he's the number one show. contender. And you just know so the rest of the car is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to... Uh... Royal Rubber Bash. The following contest. Elias. Are you guys ready to walk with Elias? I'm so excited. I can tell. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias.
It's nice to see Elias isn't wearing his grandmother's kimono tonight. You know what Be WWE very... stands for, right? Well, go ahead and We lie. want earplugs. Walk with Elias. Listen, you guys know Elias' lullabies are the number one cause of insomnia in the entire world? No, I didn't. Right, Generally. I'll just answer my own question. Yeah, I knew that. Because they are. Who's good? Is that Tony Neath? Oh, it's in the house. Drew Gula. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 193 pounds. Drew Gula. At least he didn't bring that silly PowerPoint presentation with him. All right, those PowerPoint presentations are highly educational. You could stand to learn a thing or two from Drew Gula. You know he actually quartered me with his PowerPoint presentation explaining how he was going to win here tonight? I think this is the first time I fell asleep with my eyes open. Oh my like, DDT! Lights out. DDT from Elias to Drew Gulag. Oh, spinning. Thingy kick thing. Harsh oh. impact. Oh, oh backbreaker. Who's going to be number three? Stop. Good grief. And here's Jason, Jason Jordan, Jordan, Kurt Angle's supposed son. Singing a steam off tune again. And going on to WrestleMania. Uh, no He's people. starting to stumble here. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. This is by a hundred and third video. The action. It takes a lot of boy. The time just flies, doesn't it? Who's gonna be number five? The elbow nailed it. Cassius, oh no. Love to the back. Up into the electric chair. Electric chair from. Oh, power bomb. Electric chair power bomb from Elias. He's Nakamura's title as the king of strong style. And he truly earned that with every quote unquote need to face. Unfortunately, he's also the king. This will be number six. Mustafa Ali. Ali. Now. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. Hey, if he can't handle a little punishment here and there, maybe he has no business being in the Royal Rumble match. Yeah, I'm going to pick Mustafa Ali to do this whole thing. The WWE... Drew Gula. The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now, 
the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in in the order that they drew. Yeah. This will Elias Drew Gula. Gulak's in the house. And from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. The fact is, Drew Gulak is a skilled mat technician. He pays great attention to detail, especially when it means manipulating the human anatomy. Has he ever cornered you in the locker room area? Once. Yeah, he got me, too. Most miserable experience of my life. No doubt, though, that he can get it done in the ring. Here we go from we Drew kick Gula. In this huge Royal Rumble match. As always, the luck of the draw is so important here tonight. If you can score the number somewhere in the mid to late 20s, you have to like your chances of winning. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias, get ready! Jason Jordan oh, Jason Jordan at three. Crucifix from Drew Gula. The whole Kurt Angle thing. 2,999 views from Ooh. my universe mode this year. Right, here we go. Entry number four. Who's it gonna be? Larian. Byron, you never want to find yourself in a spot like this. Especially oh, Shinsuke Nakamura. People are starting to get his thing off you. Releases the grip for some reason. Perhaps has something else in mind here, Michael? Oof! Kinshasa! I'm not sure how well, much he has What? <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura executed the Kinshasa this early. Will Jason Jordan be able to continue? Of course you will, he's Jason frickin' Jordan, he's got... Torturous me! Here we... Sam's Shinsuke to the left. Cash is going to a five. Mustafa Ali at six. Here he comes and he's got as good a chance as any to win this thing. Elias has been eliminated by Jason Gay. WrestleMania 34 saw more than 78,000 fans converge on New Orleans. One of the most exciting matches happened earlier on as Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander faced off to crown a new Cruiserweight Champion. It was a match that saw two close friends. We are up to seven already? Going for something else here, I guess. Which is absurd. I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to continue trying for the elimination. He's too quick for him there. I don't wait. Oh, no. Wait. I'm saying. Yeah, you have to expect to make some noise here tonight. Through Gulak. Big move coming. Whoa, the Southern Light Suplex. You don't see that? Wow, I thought he was a car. 
Whoa, no way Jose able to avoid damage. Number eight's about to enter. Oh, Mustafa Ali eliminates the 2008 World Rumble winner, a Drew Gulak eliminated by Noah Hensei. Boy, what do you think of his chances here tonight? I definitely have him on my short list of favorites. This has got trouble oh, written he over it, guys. Yeah, this might very well be. Bobby Roode. Glorious. Vicious strike. Man, suplex. Whoa, no way Jose able to avoid damage. No elimination here. Very questionable move, if you ask me, Cole. Listen to this crowd count the next one in. Devastating elbow. Bang! Tony needs the, per the premier athlete of Absolutely test your resolve, guys. And that's exactly what we're seeing here with him. Uh-oh. Here he comes, fellas. And he looks determined as ever. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And gets out of harm's way. Oh, boy, that could have been bad, Michael. Cutthroat side slam. He's in the driver's seat now. Oh, man, Nice is in some serious trouble now. We are moments away from the next entrance. <laughs> oh, that was a massive spot. Very to many suplex off the top rope. And gentlemen, Jack Gallagher enters at 10. the sufficient person to go as so I'll probably go as Brock Lesnar. As he knew he would take on some offense here tonight, he just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Look at this. Boom! Well, Lovely no blow chance. to the head from I've said to Brock. Cassius Ono can draw the curtains on this fight. Oh boy, he is rolling. Bingo. 
Finn Balor eliminated by Mustafa Ali. This might be it. Oh, my. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. And that one grabs him. There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. Oh. face first, Blackjack. surprised that he had nothing left at this point. A little slipping, but it just takes one shot for the knockout artist to get back in this match. Easier said than done, Saxton. That could have been disastrous, Byron. No doubt. In fact, I'm a little surprised we didn't see an elimination there. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Talk about a great escape. This might be oh, oh, drop it from... Now it's Lesnar taking some punishment. He looks to be a little surprised right now. The Royal Rumble match will absolutely test the resolve, guys. And that's exactly what we're seeing here with him. Not so fast, gentlemen. By my calculations, there's the elimination for him. What took him so long? But Brock Lesnar. I don't know if their opponent expected that. <laughs> guys, it's almost time for the next competitor. Oh, what a great escape. Wow, I cannot believe it, Michael. Here he comes. Roman a Roman Reigns at 14. Oh, what a slam that hurt. Harsh impact. Oh, what a kick. Whoa, no way Jose able to avoid that. He's looking banged up. elimination right there guys with an exclamation point no less it's Finn Balor on the way you better look out now Finn Balor team on phase and gets out of harm's way oh boy that could have been better. backstabber and Cassius Odo slips out of harm's way Brock Lesnar just too fast for him lightning speed to the beat there's the elimination fire that was amazing he's making a statement here with this attack breaking the rest hole for the elimination here next entrance getting ready to come out Looks like a change of plans here, guys. Seemed to me like the grip was... CM Punk at 16. German suplex number one. German suplex number two. And German suplex number three. That has got to be it. An F5. To cash us out, no. Oh, he versus No Way Jose versus that. That's fine for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Look out. Grand Metalik of the Lucha House Party. You know he could be a major difference maker here. Oh. Lesnar with a nice reversal. There's the elimination for What took him so long? He's in action later tonight. Looks like we might get an elimination, guys. Kick. Great athleticism. Uh oh. I can't wait to oh, see Oh, reverse for it from Rana. Kick to the butt from Sam Punk. No oh, reverse he reversed that. Oh, we have a new superstar. Oh, PewDiePie at 14. This should be interesting. Things are looking bleak for TJP here. I have a feeling this what isn't going to end well. Just stop him. Looks right for the picking guys. You can kiss his chances of main eventing WrestleMania goodbye. You hate to give up on a guy, but there may be no way around him taking this loss here tonight. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Here comes 19. Oh, big boot from Brock Lesnar. TJP finally eliminated. Now it's Arya Tabali. Don't you even think about it, Pewds. Oh, Pewds by elimination by Brock Lesnar. 
And that's elimination right there, guys. With an exclamation point, no less. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this. We're about to get another one. He's starting to stagger a bit. And we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing oh. here. Hey, if he can't handle a little punishment here and there, maybe he has no business being in the Royal Rumble match. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Here comes Bo Dallas. What a striking blow. Look at that a second time. Oh, Suplex number four. Suplex number five. And Suplex number six. Hit F5 for Aria Tafari. That was amazing. Things are about to heat up here, guys. I wouldn't want to be in the ring now, that's for sure. Daniel Bryan in the ring now. Oh, he's going after me. Side rush and leg sweep from Daniel Bryan. Leg sweep. A lot of damage taken on by Lesnar. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. Don't count the beast out yet. This might be the beginning of the end for him. It's not going to take much to get him over the top rope at this point. Listen to this crowd count the next one in. That could have been disastrous, Byron. No doubt. In fact, I'm a little surprised we didn't see an elimination there. Working hard to avoid elimination. Curtis Axel. It's Curtis Axel. Dodges trouble there. You got that right, Michael. That had elimination written all over it. At the uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it! Setting him up. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Ooh, what impact? That might be enough. Hey, here we go with entry 23. I can't wait. Nice job getting out of trouble there. It's Daniel Bryan and Bill and the city. What took you so long? AJ Styles. This way. That could have been disastrous, Byron. No doubt. In fact, I'm a little surprised we didn't see an elimination there. You gotta believe Drop this. Drop from AJ Styles. Right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Strong oh. kick. My goodness. Curtis Axel feeling some pressure here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Yeah, but of the guys in the ring right now. Gets the first line from AJ Styles off the Brock Lesnar. Number 24 is Angelo Dawkins. You can say that again. Oh, what a great escape. Wow. Oh. I cannot believe it, Michael. Brock's out. Harsh impact. Huge elimination right there. Bo Dallas isn't being shy, that's for sure. Oh boy, he is rolling. There we go. And gets out of harm's way. Number 25. Oh boy, bad, Michael. Close line. Look out. This Monty change is things big time. Uh, 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 Superstar usually does, Cole. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. AJ Styles is going up. Look out! Styles looks like he wants to do it all by himself. From a big elbow. Curtis Axel looks to be in some pretty bad trouble here. How can he get out of this mess? He's not careful. This can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. Hey, he can still win this thing, guys. We won't see him come back for much worse. What a reversal by AJ Styles. Styles is always thinking. Oh, Fireman's Curry oh, Neckbreaker in reverse DDT. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way. Wow, this shit. 
shakes things up a bit. So he clears at 26. Oh, what a fall! Dirt. Look out, a possible elimination coming up. Oh, what a great escape. Wow, I cannot believe it, Michael. Oh. Oh. That could have been. This superstar is dangerous both inside and outside the ring. He's going for it all. Incoming. Oh, what about that? Look at it. Whoa, Arya Dabari dodged that one. He's got a boatload of energy. Let's see if it lasts. This might be it. Oh, my. Wicked clothesline. He's starting to feel it here. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. Hey, if he can't handle a little punishment here and there, maybe he has no business Contact being in the world. And there's the elimination. It might only be part. There's the elimination. This could stop AJ Styles for a while. It might, but it probably won't. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. The Royal Rumble match will absolutely test your resolve, guys. And that's exactly what we're seeing here with him. Oh, AJ Styles looked to be buffed. He's getting after it while he has the energy. Oh, small move. Fireman's Curry, neck breaker. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Styles clash, and here comes Lars Sullivan. Uh -oh. oh, here it is. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Curtis Axel was able to get out of the way there. Drop oh. him. Oh. 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 Momentum clearly in his corner. Beautiful technique. Victory. Ooh, what is well, that was quick. Corey, we've got three left. Who could this be? We're running out of options. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Oh, boy, he is good. Oh, okay, that was our one. This changes the entire complexion of his match. No, it doesn't. to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Will be number 29. Never I don't know. A huge advantage. But not as much as number 30. More like a definite elimination. Both out of the a by CM Punk. No one dar at 29. The Scottish Israeli. Nice job getting out of trouble there. Talk about a great escape. That's my turn to be in here, guys. He's got same point eliminated by no one dog. With an exclamation point, no less. Manning. Boy, the time just flies, doesn't it? Yes, it's oh, Drew McIntyre at 30. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Could be trouble here, guys. Wow, Byron. Why do you think the change of plans here? Well, sometimes it's better to release oh, the ball break than up to get from the opposition tries to fight free. Just a step quicker, it looks like. There he goes. There's the elimination for him. What took him so long? Suplex. Very nice. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. This could mean trouble. He's on the defensive here. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment, and it cost him. Hey, if he oh. can't handle a little punishment here and there, maybe he has no business being in the Royal Rumble match. I don't know how much more of this he can take. It just doesn't seem to be his night tonight, guys. Like everybody else, he's probably dreamed of main eventing WrestleMania. You know how he looks right now, though? He might just have to keep dreaming. There's no way to sugarcoat this one. He's getting absolutely destroyed right now. Lariat! 
Oh, almost eliminated. Oh my God! A T series. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, the old European. Oh, the final four. To his Akira Tozawa, Noam Dar, T Series, and Drew McIntyre. This could spell trouble, Corey, without a doubt. In fact, I'll be surprised if this doesn't lead to an elimination. Calling an audible, I guess. Yeah, I'm not really sure why. I really thought the elimination was coming. Nailed it. You gotta believe this one's over. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go his plan, but boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. And gets out of harm's way. Oh boy, that could have been bad, Michael. Switching gears here, guys. Now, uh, that's getting off the hook easy, if you ask me. No has There's the elimination, Byron. Here. That was amazing. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Harsh impact. Oh, says that was the fight his way out of that. Drew McIntyre faltering some. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Yeah, oh, but with the guys Lana. in the ring right now, he's just as capable as any of winning this thing and going on oh. to WrestleMania. If oh, so his it's T-Series of Karen Sasawa. You could likely go back to this moment as the turning point of the match. Dodges trouble there. You got that right, Michael. That had a... Elimination written all over it. And there's his speed paying off. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, that might have just broken something. to the back. Bang! Boom! Right in the button. Drew McIntyre gets out of the way. Drew McIntyre beginning... Look a little weak out there. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. Sure, he'd rather not be on the receiving end here, but let's not lose focus oh. of the a fact that he's in far better That was amazing! Drew McIntyre. Oh, Glasgow oh, kicks. Over. Again, this is every man for himself here in the Royal oh, Rumble. Drew McIntyre wins. And then there was one. There's your Royal Rumble winner. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. What an amazing finish to what may have been one of the most exciting Royal Rumble matches I've seen in years. To run the game out like we just saw here tonight is among the toughest things a WWE competitor can do. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. The road to WrestleMania just got a whole lot more intense. Here comes the bruiserweight from Birmingham, England, Pete Dunn. Making his way to the ring from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United Kingdom Champion, Pete
Grand Metallic. Lucha, Calisto, Calisto, Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. From Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 168 Lucha pounds. things. That's all I'm going to say about Calisto. Lucha things. And here comes Lynch hey, Dorado, a.k.a. A Lynch house party. Yeah, Lin Golden Lynx in Spanish. No, oh, you don't like my linguistic capabilities? Oh, so it's... I think that's grab my turn. Oh, drop technique. hit. Look out, handicap action underway. If Pete Dunne is one thing, it's tenacious. Ooh. The Bruiserweight's natural instinct is to always attack his opponent. The assaults that follow are devastating to a superstar's well-being. Forget about winning or losing the match. Man, Pete Dunne's finisher is appropriately named, Saxton. When a superstar gets dropped with the bitter end, they are not getting up. Yeah, like the DOA in the like just... ah, oh, what impact! Hey guys, remember when Shane McMahon competed against the supposed Legion of Doom in a handicap match back in 1999? What a joke that was. He told everybody he'd go up against Hawk and Animal. Instead, what we got were a couple of LOD imposters. This might be it! Oh my! I remember that Shane McMahon's handicap match you were mentioning earlier very well, oh, Byron. And those are the talking an animal, the Legion of Doom, were none other than Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe. Or should I call them the Stooges? No, you shouldn't call them the Stooges. Have a little respect, Colt. We're talking about two Hall of Famers here. Oh. Yeah, but most of them do, most WWE fans of that era do do that. Oh, nasty. Oh, super good. There are certain superstars who are synonymous with handicap matches. Of course, there's Andre the Giant, and more recently, Braun Strowman. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody in more handicap matches than Big Show, guys. Oh, what a backbreaker. Man, just ugly impact. There he goes, crashing to the floor. I couldn't agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not hundreds, of handicap matches. And believe it or not, let's say he won the majority of them. Yeah, but I can tell you one he didn't win. How about on SmackDown back in July of 2008, when he was forced to take on MVP, Vladimir Kozlov, Shelton Benjamin, and the great Kali? Well, I don't know if there's a man alive who could have turned back that force him. There he goes, crashing to the floor. We've seen some pretty lopsided handicap matches over the years. And one that stands out in my mind? Well, it might just be the 2010 encounter that saw John Cena take on six members of the Nexus. Boom, what impact! Oh. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. That six-on-one match Byron brought up oh, earlier actually could have even been more lopsided. If you remember, it was originally supposed to be seven-on-one, but John Cena was able to take Darren Young out of the equation when he injured him the week prior. Well, you know what? He should have kept taking Nexus members out because even without Darren Young, the Nexus was able to accomplish their goal that night, defeat John Cena. Dangerous spot for him to be in. He's got to figure out a way to get back in it, guys. I always loved a good handicap match growing up, especially when you'd see Andre the Giant go up against two or three jabronis. Despite being outmanned, you always knew Andre would walk away with the win. Uh oh, look Four at this. And applied. Dragon got the shoulders down. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Yeah, this early, no chance. Andre the Giant really was the king of the handicap match, as Corey was saying earlier. Nielsen made quite a name for himself, competing in battle royals, as you would suspect. 
seeing as he's well over 500 pounds. I think my favorite Andre the Giant Battle Royal moment came at WrestleMania 2 when he last eliminated both members of the Hart Foundation to walk away with the win. There was no getting him over that top rope that night, fellas. Down to the floor. A lot can go wrong in a match like this, guys. In fact, I'll be surprised if we don't see a major injury occur here tonight. This might be it! Oh, my! Two. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. He's making a statement here with this attack. Boom! What an attack! Corey's point, handicap matches is an incredibly dangerous atmosphere, and being outmanned in any way, whether it's by one, two, or even more competitors, can result in serious injury. Or in the case of Braun Strowman, you can be outmanned and still somehow be the one delivering the injuries. I mean, he is absolutely unbelievable. Welcome, Rana. Hurricane Look out, look out. This could be it. He goes. That'll do it every time. We've arrived at the, the time. bitter end. Gabe looking for all the glory here. Oh man, what a strike! He's stumbling some now. At this point, you have to ask how much more he has to give here in this handicap match. Done with one, and on to another great matchup. Finally ready for our last match of the night, a handicap match, where we'll find out if the numbers ever do lie. Seth Rollins versus Aiden English. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins. Mm. Oh, God, it's him again. Here comes the job, I think everyone knows what's BS. <coughs> oh god. <coughs> Not you. That's Keemstar. Ladies and gentlemen, WWE presents from Chicago, Illinois. 
the maestro of mayhem. Well, partially because you're not, because you have been on the main the roster for about five months. Of pain. Will you stop with the aim? It's getting rather annoying. The Rembrandt of rage. The drama king. Nope. That's Keemstar. To do, 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 do. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one on one matchup. How did that? What's this? Mitsunoku's driver! Absolutely planted. Now oh, hooking him up. Face buster. Back now inside the ring. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Oh, he's going up top. I have literally no idea what that was supposed to be in any way, shape, or form. Northern Lights! Northern Lights suplex. Seth oh, Rollins the... blends high-flying abilities with brutal grounding oh, strikes to keep opponents guessing. If you're an opponent, how do you find an open? He goes for the cover. Oh, and a DDT! Early kick out. Oh. Referee right on top of the action. Rollins is way too athletic. Can't keep him down with a move like that. What a close line! Ouch! If you're rooting for Seth Rollins, you have reason to worry now. Be expected, though. It's not like he's in there Go with the slouch, guys. Going back to Seth's knee, I'm one to know that injuries are fair game, and Seth was exposed to the world when he crumpled to the ground that night against Kane. You know, I actually agree with you, Corey. Any submission specialist needs to make that knee a priority. It also neutralizes Seth's biggest moves and keeps him from the top rope. Schoolboy! And he misses the mark. Oh, talk about a rough landing. Goal oh, ball. Ball. Oh, Shoulders oh. down here. Oh. Whoa. Aiden English able to avoid damage. There's a big reversal by Seth Rollins. How good is Seth Rollins? Slim blade. Nicely done. What's he doing? He gets it with a reversal. Seth Rollins finds a way out. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Schoolboy, oh, no super kill. That one definitely hurt Cole. He's calling for it. And here we go. Oh, here it comes. Seth Rollins sees his opening. Curb stall. This is all. One. What? Oh. This guy's dangerous in and out of the ring. And it looks like he wants to prove just that. Boom. The leg drop. Whoa. Down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Incredible oh. impact. Can he do it here? No trouble kicking out of that one. Not yet. Oh. Oh. oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh. Oh, oh inverted TD. Seth Rollins. Rollins, so impressive. He stopped his opponent up top. from the top turnbuckle. Whoa, the elbow. Elbow from Seth Rollins. Into the attempt. I 
I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow, how'd he do that? is rolling now. Harsh impact. Schoolboy super, oh, super kick from the architect. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you oh, guys are. Here it are. comes, here it comes, here it comes. And now oh. one more time. Curb stomp. One, two, three. Seth Rollins picks this up the win. Contest has a victor. All right, this has been an incredible matchup and a well-earned victory. I'm just lucky we were here to witness this matchup firsthand. What, what the? What, what are they doing? I, I, What's Scott no Dawson doing? And cooler heads prevail, and now the brawl's underway. It's all breaking down. So much what the? Cooler heads. What the? Oh. Who's the heck is that? Thank goodness. That could have got bad real fast. Lana Messi versus Randy Orton. The Universal Champion versus the Legend, Apex Predator. Making his way to the ring from Buenos Aires, Argentina, weighing in at 155 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Leo May Lee. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. The Apex Predator, Randy Orton. The Viper. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 200.
and we're underway. Look at these two oh, men. I'm not going to be anything traditional about this one on one. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was calling it without you. We'll see if the next match lives up to the hype of the first. Singles action on tap right now. You know who's home rush wearing I've been Harry Tillman to recap the results. Lou Gallows beat Brock Lesnar with a roll up. Only Lorcan beat Scott Dawson. Drew McIntyre won a roll up. Pete Dunn won a three on hanging handicap match against the Lucha House Party. Seth Rollins beat Aided English. Lionel Bessie beat Randy Orton and Braun Strowman beat Finn Balor. Thank you so much for watching, but before we end the show. Let's see what's on next week's show. Next episode, actually. So, Stephanie McMahon versus Vicky James. I never. Finn Balor versus Abu Dhabi. Sergio Ramos versus Mo Salah. Ty Dinger versus The Big Show. DTM versus Montez Ford. Jackson Lady versus Connor. And a Royal Rumble match. But before we start, stop. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Harry TMM. TMM 316 says subscribe to Harry TMM and PewDiePie. And that's the bottom line because Harry DMF says so.